Good morning, everybody. Hope you've had a fantastic day. It's a little bit overcast right now, but it is clearing up as we speak. Now, I am clearly a glutton for punishment because I just went and did my usual morning hike, which goes up to the top of that ridge there. They're still cleaning up after the, the hill climb event, so the parking lots and all that stuff are still plugged full of, well, campers, vendor setups, stuff like that. So I've had to park a little ways away, which added to the actual hike, but that's kind of something I'm learning, that parking is terrible when there's events here in Kelowna. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, figured today would be a good opportunity to get out and do some more kind of on the ground research of how I can reduce my monthly expenses. Because I want to buy a house or at least a condo or something and it is stupid expensive out here. And the biggest thing that I'm noticing is now that I'm commuting, I'm using a lot more fuel than I used to. Now, there's a lot of ways you can go about not using as much fuel. One would be not to drive as much, which you can't do when you're commuting to and from work. So the logical thing would be to get a very fuel efficient vehicle. Well, that thing's pretty good. Next best thing would be a hybrid. Well, those are all boring, ugly, and overpriced. So that kind of leaves electric vehicles, and there's not a ton of options out there right now that I actually like. So I do know that Volkswagen and Volvo both offer electric SUVs that are supposedly reasonably priced. I haven't actually looked into them much, but that's what we're going to go do now. Uh, don't actually know if there are any of the vehicles here because inventory is very thin on the ground and you know I think our first stop though is going to be to go check out the Hyundai Kona electric uh, my boss actually has one and he thinks it's absolutely fantastic for what it's meant to be which makes sense it's a entry-level electric vehicle from a manufacturer that's known for being inexpensive. So we'll check that out, see what it has to offer. Uh, it is technically a holiday today, so I doubt the dealerships are open. If they are, I'll chat up a salesperson or whatever and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, but that's kind of all I really wanted to do today, was just kind of take a nice lazy day, get some information, and continue to come up with a plan to make my home here permanent, right? Renting doesn't feel permanent to me. Now, I live on this side, but I work on that side. And there's a terrible bridge in the way. So I'm trying to find a place to live on that side of the lake, but that's at least two months away, no matter what. So if I can reduce my expenses in the meantime, that's even better. But I think we're going to head down to the dealerships, see what we can't maybe kind of learn and see, and then we'll kind of come up with a plan from there. So thank you very much for coming along today. It'd mean a lot to me if you'd consider subscribing, leaving likes, sharing videos, and all that other good YouTube stuff. So let's jump in the car, buckle up, and hit the road. Sure does have a funny grill. So this is a 21 Hyundai Kona Electric Preferred. I have no idea what that actually means, but it's expensive. Cloth seats, very basic looking. Hmm. Interesting. And then there's a bunch of these baby blue cars here, so we're going to go check those out quick. Okay, so this is a Veloster N. This one's three years old with 50,000 kilometers, and they want $42,000 for it. Here's another one.
I think this one's newer. No, exactly the same thing. Considering I was gonna buy one brand new for $38,000 three years ago, that seems a little crazy to me. What else we got over here at Hyundai? We have a Santa Cruz, whatever the... Oh, okay. So that's like a Subaru Baja El Camino style thing. Uh, the badging on the tailgate isn't straight. <laughs> and then we've got some of these fake Aston Martins. That's what I call the Genesis SUVs. I like this color though. It very much has the front end of an Aston Martin. Maybe not the headlights, but definitely the grill with the badge. Nice vehicles. But let's carry on to the next stop. So this is an electric Volvo. I don't know what it is. It's kind of cute though. <laughs> a C40. I think it's a hybrid actually. It's got a grill like it's electric. Hmm. So I was curious, just Googled it. It's called a C40 Recharge. Um, very uninspiring specs. I mean, 4.7 liter, or 4.7 second to 100, all wheel drive, range about 350 kilometers, and they want $77,000 to start. Yeah, good old electrics. So, like I was saying, uh, not a lot of inventory available. Uh, I forgot my microphone at home today, so we're going to stick to the car because it's gotten a little bit breezy and we don't want to ruin the audio too badly. So, yeah, like I was saying, not a lot of inventory available to check out. None of the dealerships were open today. It is a holiday after all, for those of us in Canada. Um, yeah, as a car person, like, I mean, car being sedan, there's really no options out there for all electric cars. Uh, I kind of thought there were a few out there, but not really. So right now, the only thing I could actually buy that's a four-door car is a Tesla, which I can't afford because they are ludicrously expensive. <laughs> but I mean, after checking out a few things, I can tell you that the best bang for buck all electric vehicle is going to be your Hyundai or Kia because they seem to be fairly decent, well priced, and they have a very long warranty. So that's 
good things for an entry-level electric vehicle. Downsides, it's a Hyundai or Kia as far as the interior and build quality goes, so not quite up to the same standards as, say, a Cadillac or a BMW or a Mercedes. And you kind of get that with the price. Um, next kind of price bracket is going to be your... Uh, the, I think it was, oh, that Volvo we looked at that was so overpriced that it made me forget what it was even called. Uh, it was a C-something recharge. I remember that. Uh, that's about 70000 And to be perfectly honest, I would buy the Mustang Mach-E any day of the week over that. Uh, because it has better range, more features, better options, and... Well, so, I mean, Porsche, they've got the Taycan, which is not in my budget whatsoever, which is why I don't even consider it on my list. Uh, same goes with the Mercedes, although I think that's more of a hybrid, the, the S something. Yeah, yeah, they just keep adding numbers and letters to names and calling it a new vehicle. Kind of like the Toyota. Was that the the 4BXR something? I don't even know what it is, but that's their official name for it, is like four letters and numbers. Makes no sense. So, uh, a couple of conclusions that we can draw. Basically, if you want an electric car, you're spending well over 100,000 Canadian dollars. If you want a good entry level that's going to be an electric car that's kind of short range around the city stuff, well, go ahead and consider the Hyundais and Kias. Because, I mean, long warranties, good entry price. I don't know to the quality of them these days. Uh, my experience with a Hyundai was not the greatest as far as reliability, build quality, and the service side of things. Hopefully that's changed. That was also at a dealership that no longer exists. So I'm sure that had something to do with it. But yeah, for me, no matter which way I look and I check out all the other electric possibilities, I keep coming back to two. And that's going to be the Tesla Model 3, because I like cars. And that's about the only electric car that's even close to my budget. And the Mustang Mach-E, which is not a car. That's an SUV, but it is probably the most capable, best equipped, longest range for the price. And there's a Ford dealership pretty much on every street corner of every town across Canada. So your dealer support is good. Uh, charging wise, again, there's dealerships everywhere. There's fast charging stations and it's a domestically produced vehicle, so I feel that there'd be very, like, a lot of support for them. So that's kind of the route that I'm leaning, but you can't find any of those here right now that are, well, A, available, and B, not marked up to well over MSRP, just because you can't get them. So, uh, good news, my Cadillac is very good on fuel. Bad news... There's something really wrong with it that hopefully we can get fixed here this week. Sorry, I kind of lost track of what day it was there. But, yeah. So I'm kind of no closer to a conclusion as to how I'm going to save myself some money. But I did gain some knowledge in the electric field market. So hopefully this has been insightful to a few of you. Um, not sure if you're in the market for an electric vehicle. If you are... Definitely feel free to reach out and include some, uh, well, your findings and your opinions, because I'm in the process of learning about them. I'm curious to possibly end up buying one, but not sure which direction to go, and I don't really know anybody other than my boss who has an electric car, and they drive a little uh, Hyundai Kona electric. He doesn't really have anything bad to say about it, so... That's good news. But, yeah, uh, we've been rambling on a little while here. So, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for choosing to come along on today's little adventure. 
Hopefully you found it insightful, entertaining, and enjoyable to watch. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, sharing videos, commenting, you know, all that wonderful YouTube stuff. And, uh, yeah, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day, and we will catch you on the next adventure.